Good afternoon and welcome to the Seabury Church of Christ on May the 3rd, excuse me, June the 3rd, <laughs> 2020. Kind of losing my months here with all this quarantine. But glad we can get together for just a little short devotional. If you would bow with me in a word of prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for your son who died on the cross for us. We thank you for technology and the media that we have to where we can still communicate in this time in our country of the coronavirus pandemic. And Father, we're, we're so thankful for you and we hope that we honor and praise your, glorify your name. We pray, Father, that you be with us as we study your word just for a few minutes and kind of encourage us throughout the rest of this week. We ask this in your son's name. Amen. Today, in our last little session concerning shelter me in place, I got to thinking about the story of Adam. And I just kind of wonder, I don't know whether you've ever thought about this a lot, but how long do you imagine that he had been alone in the garden? Because the Lord took the man and placed him in the garden of Eden to work it and to watch over it. Genesis chapter two and verse 15. Before meeting his wife, Adam was assigned by God to give a name to every creature in the garden. There were, if you kind of look things up a little bit, there were somewhere around 35,000 species. How long might have that taken him to name each and every one of them? We find the story of Adam in the first book of the Bible. In the last book of the Bible, we read from John while living in exile on the island of Patmos. The Bible begins with a person in isolation and ends with a person in isolation. Have you ever thought about that? The Bible begins with a person in isolation and it ends with a person in isolation. Maybe isolation isn't as abnormal as we might think. Adam's son, Cain, was sentenced to isolation. Nor Noah was forced to shelter in the ark with only his family. Abraham left everyone except his wife and nephew. David hid in a cave. Jesus himself spent 40 days in the wilderness. Paul served multiple sentences in prison. There's something more normal about isolation than I realized. We're not alone in our isolation. Most of the great people of God experienced it. Now we get to say that we have joined them. And here is what the Lord has to say on that subject. And the scripture for today is 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. No temptations has come upon you except what is common to humanity. But God is faithful. He will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation, he will also provide a way out so that you may be able to bear it. 
Again, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Brethren, lean into this time. The Lord is with you and he is faithful. What's even better is he will also provide a way out. You and I will be out of this soon enough. Just think about these things today. Uh, I thought they were kind of interesting. And let's close with a prayer. Thank you, Lord, for the time of separation together. I know Father, that I'm not really alone. And Father, I know it won't last forever. And I know that you are with me. During this time, do in me what you want to do and use me to help others who are feeling truly alone. Lord, help me to reach out and help us all to reach out to others and to be of a comfort via by phone or, or some type of media, but keep in touch. We need each other. And Father, continue to bless us. Continue to keep us in your loving care. And this is our prayer in Christ's name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in today. If you're visiting with us and not a member of the Seabree Church of Christ. We're very thankful that you're here and, and you are our honored guest. And we plan on beginning our services back on June the 3rd, or excuse me, June the 7th uh, at the church building. So if you can come and visit with us uh, for our members, please be sure to be there. We plan on having our worship service time uh, this Sunday at 10.30 a.m. So uh, please, if you can possibly be there, come and uh, services will be a little different, but uh, we will explain all of that. Hope you have a great week and uh, remember to encourage one another and to keep all of us in your prayers. Thank you.